Hi everybody, my name is Christine Davis and I'll be your instructor for orientation. So at Heinz Community College, orientation is a required course and we offer it in a lot of different modes. We offer it in eight week and 16 week, we offer it online and we offer it face to face. But you guys are taking the online four week version of this course. So you guys are gonna knock it out really quickly. But it's really important that since we are going to knock it out really quickly that you stay on top of things. So my best advice to you for this four week course is to go ahead and get ahead as much as you can. If you can on the first day of class, go ahead and get to module two or three, that would be awesome so that you are not having to play catch up. Because when you're playing catch up in a four week course, you are going to be struggling. So I've had students go in the first week and complete the whole course because I have every single thing open from day one. So that is the nice thing about this course. If you are prepared and if you are ahead of the game, you will be able to go in and complete this course very quickly. We do have two attendance dates in a four week course. So on Wednesdays, you'll have a due date. And then on Sundays, you'll have a due date and you will get attendance based on your assignments being completed. So um, you really need to get in right away and complete the first couple of assignments so that you can get um, your attendance for the first day of class. So um, what I wanna do first is just show you how to use this course. Uh, first of all, you will always come straight to this page, which is the home page, and you'll want to look at announcements every week. I'll send you something to remind you of what we're supposed to be doing, keep you on track. Also, you can access your grades here. Um, in the grade book, I do want to show you something really quick that you'll enjoy. Um, right here, you'll see that it'll give you your score and it'll say out of how many points total. Um, I want to let you know that if you click on this, you can actually put in a, an example score. Let's just say that I wanted to see what would happen if I just didn't take this test at all or I didn't do this quiz. I can say, what if I made a zero? and I can see how it would affect my average down there. And then I can say, okay, well, what if I made a 95? And I can see what my grade would be down here at the bottom. So um, another thing is over here on the side, you can see how these grades will be weighted. Um, and then also, if you go to the syllabus page, there's a hidden gem at the bottom of the syllabus page called the course summary, and that shows you where all of your assignments are due. So um, you can see that on Wednesday, you've got these three assignments due. By Sunday, you've got these assignments due, and this should be able to keep track, or this should keep you on track um, for the entire semester. All right, and then what you wanna do in order to um, access the content in this course is go to modules, and in each module, you will see that there is a to know section, things you need to know, and then things you need to do. Now, for the four week course, you will be completing more than one module each week. So you need to be paying close attention to due dates. And once you get into the module, all you'll need to do is click next and use it basically as you would an online textbook. So click next, you're gonna read the goals and objectives, then you'll read about taking responsibility for your education, and then you'll eventually get to, um, after you do your reading material, you'll eventually get to the assignment for the week. Um, be sure that you've read the material before you start on the assignment. And this is your first discussion board and you'll simply click reply to do that. And then um, if you have any questions, send me an email. That's the best way to get in touch with me. And I wish you the best of luck this semester. If you get behind, please, start completing your work because it would be better to have a low grade maybe or some points off for having something late than to have a zero. I wish you the best of luck and I'll be talking to you soon.